Mike Szymanski, Migratory Game Bird Management Supervisor. So we conduct the survey every year uh, in May with four crews of two people running roadside transects that run north and south across the state. The transects run pretty much all the way from Canada to South Dakota. We run a total of about 1,816 miles of transects. So this year was a little bit of an earlier spring and we uh, actually ran the survey the earliest we've ever ran it. Uh, by one day. We ran it between the 6th and the 9th of May this year. We did our survey, you know, based on phenology and migration ecology of ducks coming through the state. And this year it happened to be timed uh, before we got uh, quite a bit of rain later in May. So, uh, you know, not having much sm snow melt in the spring, uh, our wetland counts were down quite a bit. Uh, we had the 52nd highest uh, May pond count on our survey, that's out of 78 years. Um, it was, uh, the pond count itself was down 38% from last year. So conditions were, were pretty dry and uh, that affected how ducks settled in the state. We had my, uh, mallards and pintails migrating through in late March and early April, uh, encountering those dry conditions. So the western third of the state was very dry in particular, and then the eastern two-thirds of the state were, were still quite dry, but a little bit better, uh, at least when we ran the survey. Pretty shortly after we did the survey, we had very extreme weather. We had four days of very hot weather, very windy weather, making the conditions on the landscape even drier. But then shortly after that, we had six days of pretty much constant, sometimes very heavy rain that occurred across much of the state. Uh, the western uh, part of the Missouri Coteau received between four and seven inches of rain. Uh, and then the central part of the state got around four inches of rain, which greatly improved uh, wetland conditions of basins that already had water, helped soil moisture conditions, and uh, brought back some uh, temporary wetlands that pairs used to initiate their uh, breeding activities in the spring. So helped a little bit but it's still uh, pretty dry in the landscape. Our duck count this year was down again. Uh, we were down to 2.66 million as our estimated May breeding population of ducks in the state. That's down about 9% from last year. And we're getting down really close to our long-term, our 77 year average. We're now only 7% above that. Uh, so things are, things are continuing to, to decline a little bit as far as duck populations go. Uh, the mallard population estimate was down 26 percent uh, from last year and is the lowest estimated mallard breeding population on our survey since 1993. Blue-winged teal, green-winged teal, and pintails also had significant population declines, whereas uh, gadwall, shovelers, and ruddy ducks had uh, somewhat less significant declines. We did have a few species that showed increases from last year on our survey. That'd be uh, widgeon, Camasbacks, redheads, and lesser scop. There's a few a few things factoring into the declines. Um, you know, part of it is for at least mallards and pintails. Uh, they're early migrating species. They're early nesting species. They went through the state when we had very poor uh, wetland conditions. Settling conditions were not good for them. So we may have had a lot of those birds actually go through into northern breeding areas. But long term, we've had declines significantly in. Uh, our duck production capabilities on the landscape in North Dakota. Um, and overall, the mid-continent duck population is declining as a whole, and that, that leaves fewer ducks to uh, settle in North Dakota. So our long-term duck declines are affecting things at broader scales. Um, you know, we've lost so much grass on the landscape in North Dakota that it makes it really hard for duck populations to do well, as well as other ground nesting bird populations. You know, one, one metric we look at is going back to the time period of like 1994 to 2016, uh, when we had a lot of grass on the landscape, we had a lot of CRP and we had really good wetland conditions. Our total duck population is now down 34% from that time period's average. And surprisingly, our mallard bee pop 
breeding population in North Dakota is down 57% from the average that we observed during that time period. So that's pretty significant declines. Canada goose populations continue to decline as well. Uh, our, our Canada goose estimate is down 15% from last year. However, they are still very abundant uh, in the state. We, we estimate uh, still having uh, 213,000 Canada geese in our breeding population. Um, that's well, well above estimates we had uh, in the early 2000s. To see duck populations rebound in North Dakota and do well and provide good opportunities for hunters, we're gonna have to have more grass come back to the landscape. We need more upland nesting habitat. Gotta have good wetland conditions too. So the wetland basins need to remain on the landscape and we need a little help from mother nature as well to have, have some moisture for those wetlands. We'll have our July duck brood survey coming up to see how production was. We'll also uh, later this summer hear from other survey crews that uh, surveyed habitats in you know, Canada and other parts of the United States to, to see how the overall duck populations are doing. North Dakota is the duck factory of the United States and North America. We, we have a lot of folks relying on us to produce ducks, not just our hunters here in North Dakota, but hunters all across the central Mississippi flyways. Um, you know, when we have poor production in North Dakota, other folks feel it as well. So uh, unfortunately, that's, that's kind of the direction we're going right now is lower and lower fall flights. And we'll have to see how this uh, July goes. We'll have a duck brood survey. Um, as I mentioned, the wetland conditions are a little bit improved from where they were in early May. Um, they're still not great. Uh, we would have probably had disastrous produ production um, if we hadn't got the rain we got uh, the 15th through 21st of May this year. So hopefully, you know, having some fair wetland conditions going into June will help us out and uh, get a little duck production this year.